attempt to turn a lemon ppm receiver into a satellite receiver now this might look a little different than yours if yours is new because I have taken all the pins off of this the bind pins and the ppm pins and just direct soldered because that's how I needed it to fit so here it is and this is the satellite right here that I'm going to remove and use by itself hopefully it's joined together right here with the three solder points and that's the only spot that's holding it together so I can just lift up on this like that and you can see there's nothing underneath and it looks just like a regular satellite I'm going to try to gently remove this just like that now let's compare this to a regular lemon satellite besides it not having the plug the plug right here it has the same two spots for the uh, antennas. It has the LED right there. Dang, these things are paper thin. I imagine it'd be pretty easy to uh, crack some something on there and make it stop working. But let's grab another one to see if it looks the same. This one is also missing the other side of the antenna, but some of you might know that uh, lemon satellites, only one side is an antenna and the other side is a ground. So yeah, they're identical. So I think I have actually one of these extra plugs. Yeah, it looks exactly the same. Let me see if I can get that plug. I can just put that plug in there. Otherwise, I'll just direct solder it. But I like to use all the parts I can on broken stuff, so I'm always saving broken shit. And I think I saved some plugs. Satellite plugs. Of course, I'm going to have a bunch of different satellite stuff because that's the only thing I, the only receiver I use. 99% of the time is a satellite. So, yeah, here we go. I'll stick this in here. I think it was on that back row. Yeah. They have solder on them, keeping them from going all the way through. Oh, there we go. If you just push hard enough, it'll go through. So, let me get that soldered up. Perfect. Okay. 
a little crooked, but that's fine. All right, let's see. So I already got the plug on here, my little uh, multi Mania Scythe 130. So I'm gonna plug this bad boy in. Now this was already bound uh, in my radio t with the PPM. So I'm just gonna check real quick. I'm almost positive it's not gonna bind up, but just in case. I'm just going to see what happens. Probably nothing, but... Oh, oh yeah, okay, I got it. Actually, no, there's no way possible it's going to work because that was set up as PPM <laughs> in the flight controller and everything, so... I'm not even going to try it. I will do a new model, though, I guess. Or uh, one other one that I'm not using. Uh, size guy. Yeah, we use that. Okay, so I just gotta set it up in the CLI real quick. And. Get a battery. Where are my batteries? I gotta go through this thing. Oh my god, this is so heavy. Holy shit. <clears throat> Whew. I made this uh, at my old, old work a couple years ago. It's a uh, I think eighth inch or three, yeah, it's eighth inch uh, stainless, the entire thing. <laughs> it's pretty badass, but um, I'm going to start using it more. I was just using it to store junk batteries and stuff, but I'm going to set this up to where I have um, a charger running through it and stuff. It's going to be awesome, because there's no way that thing's a tank. There's no way of having a fire through that. Okay, so... I'm just gonna chain... Oh wait, it's already set up. Okay, so I just need to... Set, space, spectrum, underline, sat, underline, bind, space, equals, space, nine, enter, save, enter. Disconnect. And plug in a battery and bind it with my radio. Well, we'll see if it starts flashing first. Hopefully it does. And it's not. What's going on here? Red, black, yellow. Oh, I don't have the flight controller plugged in. That could be a problem. <laughs> Idiot. I had this thing all taken apart because I swapped the ESCs. I put some 20 amps in here instead of the 10 amps. Shit. And uh, put a different flight controller and uh, I still need to do some FPV stuff to it before it's completely done. But this is why I love using the uh, the Dragonfly Acro Compact um, or the Flip32 Deluxe 
just because of this you can just completely remove the flight controller you can't do that on other flight controllers where you got controllers where you got the signal from the ESC soldered up underneath it and shit you just can't do it but this is just one plug and that's it got my plug for my VTX and this is the plug for the flight controller so you just go bam plug it in and you're done tuck the wires in okay make sure nothing's being pinched alright so I'll just leave it like that um, I'm wondering if that worked still oh no I gotta do it again that sucks Sorry, my daughter's sleeping. Oh, shit. Okay, so that used it up. Okay. It's gonna work. Yeah. Okay. I saw it flash once. What the hell? The ESCs aren't beeping. What the hell is going on? Hmm. That's not good. Oh shit. I forgot this isn't the the right plug. So I had to push it over to one side cuz it's smaller. And I just pushed it in wherever it fit cuz I forgot so I gotta go all the way over to one side. There we go. Dang man, that scared me. I'm sick of shit breaking. But this isn't broken, so... I'm happy. Sorry. <sighs> okay. Let's try that again. God dang. Okay, I'll try it one more time. Um, but yeah, just so you see now, you can use the smaller plugs that are meant for other... It's actually meant for up here for PWM, but you can use it in the longer plug. You just have to remember to keep it to one side and make sure the pins are lined up where they're supposed to be. Hopefully it works now.
yes. All right. Now we just gotta get. Now we just gotta get it to bind. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. So I'm gonna change it to zero real quick, and then I'll see the motor spin up. So you gotta go back in and uh, do everything the same except for the number instead of nine, you put a zero. And that keeps it from wanting to uh, rebind every time you plug in the battery. And it bound up just instantly. And it's ready to go. Except I probably have it on the wrong one. So since it's not arming, I gotta take this and the radio, plug it into the computer and see. See what the settings are doing. in the uh, receiver tab. So yeah, it's not even showing up, so I gotta go configuration, put it on 2048, which is usually what it's supposed to be anyway for GSMX, I believe. And then it should be correct now. Yeah, now it's showing up. Throttle, yaw, pitch, and roll. Okay, so everything's all good now. I should have known that already. I, I wasn't even looking at that. Okay. So now it's ready to fly. If I had props <laughs> put on. But damn, that shit just binds up in like less than a second. So there you go. Went from a PPM to a DSMX. Or a, sorry, to a serial. Went from, from a PPM DSMX to a serial DSMX. Dropped a few grams. Well, actually this thing's insanely light. Probably dropped like one gram maybe. Um, and for those of you asking why I would want to do this, uh, there was some kind of issue with this part particular receiver, the PPM one, where when I was flying, there was a huge latency issue between the throttle and the sticks and the quad moving. Um, it was taking like seriously almost a second or something between when I moved the stick and when the quad would react. It was just insane. So I don't know what the problem was, but it's not here now with just using the satellite. So that's good. Um, I'm not sure if I would have done this anyway. I wouldn't even buy this receiver to begin with unless I had to use PPM because satellites are just my thing. I mean, satellites have always been good to me. I've never had an issue with satellites. They're just amazing. They're just incredibly light, incredibly small, and just work flawlessly. So now you know that you can change a PPM lemon into a satellite lemon if you chose to. Maybe you have some laying around that you don't use PPM anymore and you and you do use satellites. There you go. And it was very simple. Um, if it looked difficult, it was it was me being a dumbass. So Alright, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and thanks for watching.